Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, I have contacted many professionals from various companies and I asked them regarding trigger scenarios that were asked during their interviews. And based on their responses, I plan to create more videos on the scenarios commonly asked in interviews across different companies. And in today's video, I am back with trigger scenario that was asked in Deloitte. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So let's first understand today's scenario. We have a checkbox field primary contact on contact object. That indicates whether the contact is primary or not. If this checkbox is checked, then the contact is primary. And if it is not checked, then the contact is not primary. Now, according to the requirement, we need to ensure that only one primary contact should be present on an account. And if a user try to add more than one primary contact on account, whether by insertion or updation, then in that case, we need to show error message like you cannot have more than one primary contact on account. So this is our today's scenario. It's time to code. So let's go to VS Code and create a helper class. Let's name it Trigger Helper. And let's create our method public static void g method. Now, as we want to prevent insertion or updation of contact records, therefore a trigger will be on contact object. And hence, we need to take list of contact as argument. So let's take a list of contact as argument. List contact. Let's name it con list. And this list is equal to trigger.new. Now, in order to check related contacts of account, we'll be needing parent account ID. So let's create a set to store parent ID like this set ID, parent ID. New set ID. Let's apply a null check on this list. If it is empty and iterate over it, contact con on list. Now, see in update operation, there could be a scenario in which user try to change the parent account of a contact. So in that scenario, we'll be needing both new parent and old parent account ID. And to get that, we are going to use trigger.oldmap. So let's take another parameter like this. Map ID contact. Let's say old map. And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.oldmap from our trigger. So basically this map is equal to trigger.oldmap. Now let's apply another check on this map like this. Not equals to null. And let's create an instance of contact using this map. Contact old con old map dot get code dot id. Basically, here we are using get method to retrieve the old version of contact record. Now our next step is to compare old parent account ID and new parent account ID of contact. So let's use if condition like this. This is for old version of contact record not equals to and this is for new version of contact record and if this condition will get true then we will add both parent account IDs in our set so let's copy set name and paste it here old con dot account ID and this is for new parent account ID so this if condition will run when a user updates the parent account of contact. But we also need to store account ID if user tried to update contact record. So for that, we will use else condition like this. And inside this else condition, we will copy this line and paste it here. So this block of code is for update operation. But we also need to store parent account ID for insert operation also. So for that, we will again use else condition here and we will again copy this line and paste it here. Now we have parent account ID for insert and update operation in our set. Now let's use this set to fetch related contacts with primary contact checkbox checked. So for that let's apply another check like this. Copy its name and paste it here. Is empty. Now whatever we will write inside this if condition will only be executed when this set contains a value. Now let's fetch related contacts using SOCAL. List contact, contact list, select 
ID route ID primary contact and contact where account ID in our set and the checkbox is checked. So in this list only primary contact will be fetched. Let's apply a null check on this list. Contact list dot is empty and iterate over it. Contact on contact list. Now the question is why we are iterating on this list. See, we need to check that whether a primary contact is already present on account or not. For that, what we will do? We will store contacts account ID and contacts count whose primary checkbox is checked in a map. And then we will use that map to show error. So let's create a map first. Map ID comma integer. It is in key of this map, we are going to store the account ID and in value, we are going to store the count of contacts whose primary contact checkbox is checked. Copy its name and paste it here. And let's put account ID and size of this list in it. account ID and copy this list name and paste it here dot size now let's iterate over our trigger dot new list copy its name for contact error cone and now we will write the condition on which we want to show error so let's use if condition and inside this if condition we will first apply a check that if primary contact checkbox is checked or not so let's apply a first check error cone dot primary contact equals to true and after that we will apply another check that if this context id is present in our map or not so let's apply another check opr map name dot contains e error cone dot account ID and at last the most important check that whether our primary contact count which is present in our map is greater than zero so let's use another end cone map dot get error cone dot account ID is greater than zero and if all these condition will get true then we will show our error message error cone dot add error and our message will be this account cannot have more than one primary contact. So we have our helper class ready. Save it and deploy it to org. And now let's create our trigger. Name it primary trg. So we need to prevent insertion and updation of contact before the record gets saved to database. That's why a trigger will be on contact with before event. So let's write contact here before insert and before update. At first we will write code for before update operation. For that let's apply a check like this if trigger dot is before and trigger dot is update. And inside this if condition, we will call our helper class method. Copy our class name, paste it here. Dot copy our method name and paste it here. And in first parameter, we will pass trigger.new. And in second parameter, we will pass trigger.old map. Similarly, let's apply a check for before insert operation. Else if trigger dot is before 
and click the is insert copy this line and paste it here but in case of before insert operation we will pass null in second parameter because we don't need it so let's pass null here save it and deploy it to work okay it is successfully deployed it's time to check working of our trigger so let's go to our work let's go to this account and let's insert one contact with primary contact checkbox checked let's name it test com one check this checkbox save it so now we have one primary contact on this account let's try to add one more contact with checkbox checked click on new again test com two check this checkbox click on save so error message has come which means our trigger is working fine for insert operation. Let's uncheck this checkbox and save it. Now let's try to update the checkbox. Click on edit. Check this checkbox, click on save. See, it is not updating because there is already one primary contact present on this account. Now we will test for reparenting scenario. For that, let's go to another account. And we will insert one primary contact here. Test contact three. Check this checkbox. Click on save. Now let's try to change its parent. Click on edit. And this test account one has one primary contact on it. Let's select this. Now, if our trigger is working fine, then we will not be able to update its parent. Click on save. So our trigger is working fine for insert and update operations. That's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you.